Step 7. Z-axis transmission nut. This is the Y-axis rail support and its position. Mark the location where the Z-axis meets the Y-axis linear bearing supports. We are getting ready to install the lead screw. Identify all of the pieces that connect so you can re reassemble the way it was. Mark the center of the support and the center of where the Z-axis back support meets the support. This is the position of the lead screw. I'm measuring 2 inches since the board is 4 inches wide and 3 8 inch towards the Z-axis rail since the Z-axis back support is 3 three and a quarter inches thick. It's difficult finding a bit when the place gets a little bit messy. Drill a pilot hole. Clamp it together and drill all the way through. This will keep a good alignment. Put it all back together so we can drill into the Z-axis back. Drill as far into the back as possible. It's probably a good idea to disassemble the back and drill it on a flat level surface. The drill bit needs to be as level as possible. This hole will dictate the alignment of the lead screw assembly. After the holes are aligned, disassemble the two linear bearing supports to drill all the way through the Z-axis back. The screw fits. It's one of those cheap quarter inch by 20 long screws. If you have concerns about backlash and anti-backlash nut, it will be necessary. Use a drill bit a tad smaller than the nut so the nut will stay in. I have found this works remarkably well only drill in the length of the nut. It's time to torque the nut into the hole.
This concludes the installation of the Z-axis transmission nut. Next we will install the and secure the lead screw.